line itself stretches from Bewley, adjacent to Inverness in the north of Scotland, running through the highlands of Scotland, through the Cairngorms, down through Dramocta, and down through towards Stirling. This project has, has been a, a huge challenge. It's a multidisciplinary, all the way from the design, the engineering, right through to the construction. The major challenges on this project uh, for the construction element uh, was the logistics of operating over a construction area which is uh, 220 kilometres. The geography itself is a challenge. If you've got an incident where you need to get the emergency services to it, you've got to be able to tell them exactly where you are. So every tower is labelled with its grid coordinates. The biggest challenge would be the ground, the, the topography of the, the line. So things like proximity to water courses, road, rivers, overhead power lines all had to be taken into account. To deliver the project, we've had to undertake the construction of over 250 kilometres of access tracks. We're taking our heaviest construction equipment through the mountains of Scotland. The only way we can do that is put in proper access roads, which will allow us to transport steelwork, concrete, people, equipment all over the place. The weather up here plays a big controlling factor in what we do, um, because where we are, the remote highlands, if it snows or if there's poor weather, adverse weather, that really prohibits what we do. Obviously the zero harm culture is something that we all need to work together to achieve. And given what we're doing and where we're doing it, it's going to be a big challenge for everybody. But I'm sure as a team we can all pull together and, and work together towards that target. Well, once we've got the access tracks in, the starting point for us is to build some foundations. In an ideal world, the, the ground would be level and flat but where we are, it's not so level and flat. It's extremely remote, very rugged, and it's extremely challenging as well. The size of foundation footings can be almost 50 metres apart from leg to leg, so that means site investigations have to be quite concise. As an engineer, I need to look at safety, what are the environmental in impacts. Is it actually possible to put in a foundation? Is it possible to put in a crane pad? We went uh, with all different types of foundations, rock anchor foundations, conventional foundations, very large excavations, some of them were buoyant, uh, very large square, anything up to eight metres square, six metres deep. We were able to establish the best way of building this line was use cranes, rather than um, typical derrick erect. And we've got an awful lot of expertise now at putting these together in a fairly efficient fashion um, and then building them in, in quite congested site. You see it on paper and you kind of think that uh, it's going well and you can tick a box and then you come out and see it in real life. It's just amazing. I think a major contributing factor is the teamwork that is uh, developed between SSE and Balfour Beatty in what are very difficult, challenging physical conditions. Now that uh, we've completed the project um, and the power's now running through the line, got to be honest, there is a massive sense of achievement. The whole of the, the team that's been involved in this project uh, has done a fantastic job and, and one that leaves a really good lasting legacy.